वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स आई एम मोहम्मद ताहर अहमद योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न द यूजेज ऑफ इफ एंड एल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू द यूजेज ऑफ नेस्टेड इफ एंड एल्स मीन इफ एंड देन एल्स इफ हेयर यू कैन वॉच दैट आई हैव रिटर्न ओनली एल्स but in this video i will tell you that how can you use the else if statement after the if then else if else if and in the end we will use the else statement so first of all i will duplicate this page on the name of if underscore else if i go there and i press on save as and i duplicate this page on a new name else underscore else if dot php i press save now i will delete all the data which is inside the php syntax i go here and i open this page newly made page dot php now you can watch that this page is totally blank so now i go to my notepad plus plus code editor again and here i make a variable on the name of dollar book is equal to double quote semicolon yes dollar copy make one more variable is equal to double quote semicolon yes i duplicate it and here i change it is name news underscore paper <coughs> yes and i also change it is name magazine and i delete the last variable friend i have made this four variables one is on the name of book second one copy third one newspaper and the fourth one is magazine and i have assigned it is value to all of them yes so now i will first make if an else statement so i write here if francis and curly brackets and first inside the if i write here dollar book double is equal to double quotes yes because i have given it the value yes and here i write echo double quotes and semicolon we got the book and now i will make else statement simple else statement and here i once again use the echo double quotes and here i write we got nothing friend this is the method which i told you in previous video also so book is really is equal to yes and if i go to my chrome browser and i refresh the page then i see that we got the book and if i change it to no and if i write here no control s to save i come here and i refresh the page then you can see that we got nothing this is a simple method of using if and else but now i will take you tell you that how can i make more else and ifs inside this if this if and this else if and this method called the nested else if so here i will write first i change it to yes 
I press enter and here I write else if fences and curly brackets I write here dollar copy double is equal to yes now I come inside the curly brackets echo double cost semicolon I write here we got the copy so friend if I go here and refresh the page so you can why that we got the book because the first first if book is empty this one so if I change here if I only delete the s whether you write n no or whether you just only delete one and I come here and refresh the page then you can see that we got the copy and when I did not write I did not use this else if property then our browser directly went to this echo and we got nothing text was showing on our browser but now here is showing we got the copy the second else f and if I also change this copy just in I remove this s control s to save and I go here and I refresh the page then you can see that we got nothing then the third one third the last else is showing we got nothing so friend in this way in this way you can use more and more else if for example I go here and refresh we got the copy now I make one more else if under this else if I write here else if Francis and curly brackets I press enter inside the fences and here I call the third newspaper variable news underscore paper is equal to double is equal to double cars yes and once again I write equal double cars and semicolon and here I write we got the newspaper now friend I make one more LC because I have made this magazine so the easiest easiest way is I click over it and I copy it I copy this whole whole LC and I paste it down and here I just change the variable in spite of newspaper I write here magazine and here too I write the magazine so first of all I also do it change it to yes so now when I refresh this page then I will see that we got the first one is book we got the book so this is the we got the book so I go here I refresh the page you can see that we got the book and if I come here and I just delete the last letter and I come here and refresh the page then you can see that we got the copy and if I come here and delete the last s of this copy also and I come here and refresh then I will see that we got the newspaper because the third variable is newspaper and if I also remove the newspaper assigning word yes to s and I come here and I refresh the page then browser will show we got the magazine and the last one there is magazine is the last and if I also remove the magazine s and I change it to no then the browser will show the last one we got 
nothing and I come here and refresh the page we got nothing so friend in this way you can use the nested else if by using else if again and again and in the end you will use the else command I hope you would have you would have understood it so if you could not understand watch it this video again and again and try to understand it I see you in next video bringing a new topic for you